everybody and welcome to our music lesson for the week. So far we've looked at string instruments and woodwinds, this week we're going to look at brass instruments. Now this is going to be slightly harder than most for me because I don't actually play any brass instruments. I sometimes get asked, are there any instruments you don't play? And this is my answer. But I do have a couple in the house and I'm going to have a little bit of help from a friend later on in the video and she does very much play brass so you'll be able to hear what it should sound like. First though, I'm going to show you some brass instruments and tell you a little bit about how they work. So the definition of a brass instrument is not just that it's made of metal, although they often are, it's that the mouthpiece is like this. This is a trumpet and this is a trumpet mouthpiece. I'm going to show you a close up. So it's kind of cup shaped. There's no reed in there like there was with the woodwind instruments. We're not going to blow over the top of it. That won't work. What you have to do with one of these is literally to blow a raspberry. So you purse your lips and you go and if you know how to do that you can then do that into the mouthpiece and make a noise. Now the first brass instruments had a very limited range of notes. They could only play with the notes that we call the harmonic series. This is back in the Middle Ages and beyond. But it's a sound that you would still recognise because if you play just those notes from the harmonic series, what you get is a fanfare kind of a sound because they're quite widely spaced. And then later on, they developed two different systems for filling in the gaps in that series. So just like the finger holes on a woodwind instrument will fill in the gaps between the registers I was showing you last time, on the trumpet and many other brass instruments you have these valves. So these, when you push them down, what they do is to open and close these different sections of pipe. So you can see this one's got a really little loop that it would open, this one's got a slightly bigger one, and this one has an even bigger one. So with different combinations of those, sometimes you might press down two of them or three of them, you can make all sorts of different lengths of pipe and that way you can play the complete scale. The other system that was invented slightly earlier is the slide. This instrument is called a trombone. I should move back a bit so you can see it a bit better. And it's got this moving part here which can make it longer or shorter, quite a lot longer in fact. And then on that slide the player will have seven different positions that they can choose to use to produce different notes. Other instruments to look out for from the brass family that you might see for example if you're watching an orchestra on the television are the French horn where the piping is in a big spiral shape and then the bell is at this side and the player will actually put their fist inside the bell to change the sound. And then there are bigger valved instruments um, all the way through past the euphonium uh, to the tuba where the bell will go up in the air in front of the player. And even the sousaphone, which is a bass instrument, where the piping goes around your body and the bell comes up over your shoulder and it's up here above your head. And those are quite often used in American and continental marching bands because you can walk around with it. And the bell on those instruments is actually made of fiberglass to make it weigh less, so it's a bit lighter to carry around. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a clip in from my friend Anna Marshall. She's a trombone teacher and a brass player up in York, and we play together in a band, which I'll tell you about a little bit more in a minute. But first, over to Anna. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Anna Marshall and I am a trombonist. Uh, a trombone belongs to the uh, brass family uh, because it is made of brass and also more importantly it has a brass mouthpiece unlike the saxophone which has a reed so that's what determines it being a woodwind instrument. Um, we get our sound out of our instruments by buzzing and also through lots of air as well so this is this creates the vibration, this creates the sound the rest of the instrument is amplification for what our lips are doing. So I'll just demonstrate that now. So that 
that's how you get a sound out of any brass instrument. What separates the trombone from the others, because uh, the other instruments like trumpet, French horn, tuba, uh, they all have valves that you press down in order to get lots of different notes. The trombone has a slide where you can get lots of different notes on that. And also you can make really satisfying comedy noises like this. <laughs> called a glissando. I like playing lots of low notes as well. The trombone can get very low because it's a larger instrument than the trumpet. That's very satisfying. Right, I'm just going to play you a little snippet uh, from a piece called The Acrobat. Uh, it's a really fun piece. It was also used as the Johnny Briggs theme tune. I hope you enjoy it. you enjoyed that. Isn't Anna good at playing the trombone? I'm glad I've got a bit of a sample of that. It sounds a lot better than I do, it doesn't it? I'm going to use for our joining in piece today a recording that Anna and I both played on, along with uh, some chaps called Tim and William. Anna and William play trumpets in this piece without any valves because it's a 15th century piece, it's over 500 years old, and it's called Gloria ad Modum Tubi, which means in the style of the trumpet. And the trumpet parts, there's two of them on these trumpets and they play a repeated pattern which goes D, A, D, D, A, D, A, D, D, A. So that's one thing you could join in with. If you've got an instrument and you can find the notes D and A, you should be able to play along with that. If you haven't got an instrument, then I think it might be time for some drumming because drums and trumpets go together very nicely. So you can use your knees and you can literally go Or if you're feeling ambitious, you can try both at once. D A D D A D A D D A. And while the music is playing, what I'll do is I'll put some pictures up on the screen for you to see of us with our band uh, in medieval costume, and also of some other instruments that are from the brass section with some labels on, so you can see what things like the tuba look like. See you next week.